Good morning, students. Welcome to our online lesson for today. Today, we will draw a perpendicular bisector of a line segment using compasses and straight edge. We will also determine the midpoint as a point where the perpendicular bisector intersects the given line segment. We will be using the keywords line segment, midpoint, perpendicular bisector. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use these words confidently. Draw the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So here is the given line segment AB. First, place the compass point on A. Then open the compasses to a radius that is more than half the length of AB. You can adjust the opening of your compass. Make sure that's more than half. Let's check. So here is about the middle of A and B, and our compass is more than that. So good. And draw large arc. Now, keeping the compass the same, place the compass point or the middle on B. Then draw a large arc intersecting the first arc that we have drawn. Do not change the opening of your compass. It's very important. Now, place a straight edge along the line joining the points where the two arcs cross. Draw the line passing through these two points of intersection. This is the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. And we can name it and label it for like L or with any letter that is required. And we can also check if it is really perpendicular to AB and it cuts the line into two equal parts. Let's use our protractor. Remember, using a protractor, the center should be on the intersection. And you see, yes, the line is 90 degrees with AB. Does it cut AB into two equal parts? So that is A to the middle should be equal to B to the middle. Let's measure the left side. It's 7 centimeters from A to the middle. So on the right side, B to the middle is 7 centimeters. So yes, it cuts the line into two equal parts. And line L is also 90 degrees to AB. So it is a perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. You can erase some parts, but you have to leave your construction arcs. Your work should show where the arcs cross each other. Now mark the intersection of the line L and AB. This is the midpoint of the line segment AB. Now watch this next construction and see what is the mistake. Did you notice the mistake? Yes, there is. So obviously, M here is not the midpoint. What was the mistake? Yes, they changed the opening of the compass. Very important that you don't change the opening of your compass when drawing the perpendicular bisector or identifying the midpoint of a line segment. Do this next exercise on an A4 sheet of paper. Follow all the instructions that is given. Pause this video and come back when you're done with it to check your work. Now I will show you how the exercise should be done. So first, we have to draw the rectangular plot of land using the scale 1 cm to 10 m. So that means 100 by 80 m is actually a 10 cm by 8 cm in our drawing. So let's use our ruler. To measure the 10 centimeters 0 to 10 okay so that's how long it is so that's 10 centimeters and then use your protractor to draw 90 degrees the center of your protractor should be at the end of one line mark it then use your ruler 
draw 8 cm side. Do the same on the other side. That's 90 degrees. Mark it. Draw 8 cm. And lastly, just connect the endpoints of those two lines that should be 10 cm. Yes, it is 10 cm. So this is a copy of the rectangular lot 10 cm by 8 cm. Let's mark the corners A, B, C, D. Now let's use compass and straight edge and we will find the midpoint of AB and the midpoint of BC. So let's start with the midpoint of AB. Compass needle on B, open the compasses, more than half of AB. Draw a large arc. Needle on A, keep the compass radius the same. Draw a large arc. The first arc was not long enough. Now use the straight edge. That is the midpoint of AB. Now midpoint of BC. Okay. Now needle on C. Make them intersect. Now use a straight edge. And mark the midpoint. Now it says the fence. Connect the two midpoints. So that is the fence. You should get diagram the same as like this. If not, do it again. Copy this diagram and then paste your work on your notebook and continue working on page 123, question 1 and question 3 of your course book. Let's take a look at the next example. What do you think will happen? On A4 sheet of paper, construct an accurate copy of the diagram. Follow the steps that are given. In here, you will discover what type of triangle is formed when we connect points A and B to any point on the perpendicular bisector. Pause this video and come back when you are done working on it. Your diagram should look like this. And what type of triangle is ADB? Yes, it is an isosceles triangle. AD and BD are both 5 cm. What if we use a different point D on the perpendicular bisector? Do we still have an isosceles triangle? Let's move D and see what happens. What do you notice? AD is always equal to DB. This is also known as the perpendicular bisector theorem, which states that any point on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment AB is equidistant to the points AB.